Hello YouTube, this is my review of the AVF GK2 key gaming keyboard and um, some of the specs on this thing are that it weighs 1010 grams and which is about roughly 1 kg and then also um, one of the features I like is that um, the keys are backlit and even though they're backlit you can change the colors from blue to red to purple or pinkish and uh, you can change the brightness by holding down the FN key and the uh, page up and page down to adjust the brightness settings uh, I personally use um, the blue one because it's just uh, more calming that way and um, some of the interesting things about this keyboard is that it's um, it's uh, uh, I don't know if you would call it waterproof, but it's definitely splash proof, which you can see from the bottom. See these holes? That's where the water comes out if you were to spill liquid on it. I think the normal specs are like you can't spill more than 50 ml of water on it. Um, clean, plain water. And um, I would personally recommend this for novice gamers or people that are into like typing a lot. Because um, this isn't a mechanical keyboard, but it feels very much like a mechanical keyboard. Um, which uh, mechanical keyboard I'm talking about is that the Cherry MX Browns. Because these do not make a clicking sound. Uh, they just sound like keys. But their, the feel of it is really nice. It feels just like a, a mechanical keyboard. Uh, I would say about like 50% or so of the the real mechanical keyboards um, one of the things that I don't like about this um, keyboard is that the printing is somewhat um, not that clear on especially on the arrow keys and the um, the back seat it's like not very clear printed or anything like that okay um, other than that it's not a really bad keyboard it's even got like weird features like this crack cracking design on the bottom which doubles as your um, wrist rest yeah so um, that's my review of the gaming keyboard uh, GK2 um, this is definitely um, an upgrade from the GK1 which I'll be reviewing much later. Alright, thanks YouTube. But before I go, I forgot to mention that um, this cable is braided um, compared to your normal like rubber, rubber wires. This is braided to enhance the durability and it features this ferrite ring which is supposed to lower the EMIs or something. And uh, another interesting thing is that this is gold plated so it's supposed to enhance the connectivity as well let me focus here yeah okay i think i covered all the, the features of that all right thanks youtube and see you next time